<laughs> never again. I'm never going to wipe out another SD card again. Hi everyone and welcome to Fast Friday where I pick one topic and talk about it fast. Today we're going to be talking about a weird little quirk with the SD cards on the X-T3 and the X-T2. And in fact, it's more than just a weird little quirk. It's actually caused me to wipe out and destroy two different photo shoots on two different SD cards in the past. So I hope that by bringing this up, this can help a few of you. Okay, so here's the situation. Let's say I want to go out on a photo shoot. I take two SD cards and I put one in each slot. Then I go into the menu, and a lot of people do this, they go into Save Data Setup, and they choose Sequential. Basically, you are filling up one card first, and then when that's full, the camera will automatically fill the other card up, all right? Pretty basic stuff. So I go out, and I start shooting my pictures, everything's great, I come back, and I want to take the card out of the camera. So I go ahead and I take the card in slot one out of the camera, because that's where it was shooting for. I know it's slot one. And I have every intention of offloading the pictures on this card. But if I turn the camera back on at some point, right, from this moment, I turn it back on, now the camera is set to shoot and save in slot two. So the camera is gonna go now into slot two. I didn't tell it to, it just knows that because there's only one card, it happens to be in slot two and the camera's doing the right thing and I'm ready to go. However, I always generally put two cards in there and sometimes I will accidentally or on purpose even, I'll take the original card that I haven't offloaded yet and I'll put it back in the camera thinking, okay, I'll just add some more photos to it and then I'll deal with it later. So I go and I put it back in the slot just like that. Now when I go to turn the camera back on, all right, the camera is again still looking in slot two. Now here's the problem. I kind of have a habit, I don't know about you, but I have a habit where every single time I go out shooting with a fresh SD card, I format it in the camera. I, I do a format right before. Well, I've done that so often and I always do it with both cards. I just don't think about it. And what you can do is you hold down the little trash icon right here while pressing this back rear command dial, boom, like that, and then you can erase both cards in slot one and slot two. It's sort of a process, it's a habit, it's a, it's a little ritual I go through every time I go out shooting. I always do a quick playback to make sure nothing's on the card. Okay, so when I go to hit the playback button and I press it, this is what I see, no image. And I think to myself, oh, okay, the card's blank. I'm gonna go ahead and reformat it. And then I just go and I reformat it. The problem is there's already pictures on the other card. So I understand that this message means that there are no images on the SD card that's located in slot two. However, I had images that I don't want erased in the card in slot one. And being rushed all the time and not paying attention, I see that, particularly since I have crappy eyes. I don't, I'm not really looking at it and thinking about it. All I see is I quickly press the playback, I see no image, and I go, okay, the cards are blank, and I erase them both. That has happened to me now twice. So the fix for this, if you happen to see no image, is you've got to break the habit. What I do is I press the menu button on the back, and that will go into the switch slot, and then I press the menu button again, and there it is. There, my, And I see that, and, oh, I better not erase that card. In summary, this is what you need to remember. If you have two cards in the slot, and you're going out shooting, and you plan on just formatting them both, but you do a quick check first to see if there are any photos on there you don't want to erase, and you press the playback button, and you get this message right here, don't format, don't, no, 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 no. What you want to do is take that extra step, press the menu OK button, then switch slots by pressing it again, and make sure that you've looked at the cards in both slots. Ideally, what should happen here is if you happen to have one SD card with no pictures on it at all, and you have another SD card with at least one photo on it, the Fujifilm camera should sense that and default to showing you in the playback the card that has the photos. Does that make sense? So it doesn't do that. Fujifilm, if you're watching this, please do something with that. Fix that. Just have it auto-magically switch 
to show a photo if you have two cards in there one of them blank and one of them containing photos have it switched to show the photos when you press the playback thank you so much for watching have a great weekend and i will see you real soon take care